now and then a piece comes across my desk and I just have to have to look at it a, li a little closer because not only is it a unique form uh, photography tool but it's it's really 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 a neat piece of engineering and shows how photography evolved through the years and how people would incorporate uh, different elements using the best technology they had available at the time to meet a need. This is a Woolen Sack 8. By the way, this is Sam from Iconic Camera. I'd really appreciate if you'd uh, hit the like button and the follow button down below. Really help our channel grow. This is a new channel. This is a probably 30, 40, maybe even 50 year old movie camera. And through the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, 35 millimeter home movies were the rage. The problem was the cameras weren't very good at all. They were usually a fixed focus Kodak camera, basically just a piece of glass. And uh, the, 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 the photos were, this one, watch this. I don't know if you can hear that. It's mechanically driven. That's your shutter release right there that would release the film. And this particular model had a, what we call a turret. It had three different lenses that, this one is old and needs some maintenance, that would basically rotate with different focal lengths depending on the type of shot you were, uh, you were trying to get. There's a fixed viewfinder. And then up here at the top, there is an aperture control, very, very bulky. It's a, basically a sliding switch with a few different stops, depending on the sunlight available. There was a little chart here that he gave you on the side, which was really, really kind of cool and handy at the time. Because remember, most of the people using these were very amateurish. They had no clue. This was made for your everyday family to use as a, as a camera. And then this I love too. This is the switch. Watch this. It's, it's huge. You open this. Oh, this thing needs maintenance. And watch what happens. <clears throat> the door pops open and that's when you where you would load the film. The, it was a cartridge, I believe, that went in here. Uh, actually, this camera is in fairly decent shape. I haven't really... Uh, done a lot of work. The problem was it was uh, held in a moist environment and I did see some signs of mold and corrosion on it which as you know can be deadly. Uh, but I, I just, it, it, it incorporated so many different elements here that I thought were so unique uh, and probably very expensive at the time. This uh, this particular camera in the condition that it's in now, it's probably under a hundred dollars. I haven't even looked it up. I, I just I got it as part of a bigger lot, and I just was fascinated by it. So there you have it, the Woolen Sack Eight movie camera with a turret lens. This is Sam from Iconic Camera. Thanks so much for your support, everyone. Really hope you're having uh, having fun with the uh, content we're putting up, and uh, we're, we hope to uh, to add a lot more. Thanks again.